face it, the Cobalt is not designed for a family of four, but is a pretty good fit for younger, first-time buyers who want some fun, but also want to spend as little as possible on a car right now. When it was launched a few years ago, the Cobalt was a tentative entry in the compact segment that is actually assembled in the U.S. This is a niche where imports like Honda, Mazda, and even Toyota have ruled supreme for nearly 20 years. The interior fit and finish has been upgraded in the XFE version to match those competitors. And finally, someone at GM figured out how to design a radio control unit that can even control an iPod in addition to the regular auxiliary input jack. But there's at least one ergonomic shortcoming, and it's right under a driver's right arm. With the center console down, it is hard to reach the handbrake in an emergency. Now is the time for that to be addressed. Other than that, we found the Cobalt handles well in a variety of driving situations, and while it's not whisper quiet on the inside, the noise level is acceptable considering its price. If General Motors and the Chevy brand are going to survive, success might hang on how well they design and build small cars like this that can compete. And maybe in the future, the company might even remember they're in the lineup. This is Greg Morrison.